Junkie, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to get into bright pink blushes, perfect timing for spring. I think a hot pink blush is really pretty, even though it looks very scary. I just want to introduce you to some of my favorite pink blushes and just want to show you some swatches and apply a little to my cheeks and I'll share a little story with you. Um, so let's get into the blushes first. Um, I'm just going to share my cream formulas first because a lot of people are into creams these days and then I'll show you my powders. So the first pinkish blush, not super bright pink, but this is the Rare Beauty Grace liquid blush. And it's got like kind of a lipstick applicator, lip gloss applicator. So not super pink, it is very warm, but I think this is a really pretty springtime, really just kind of like give you some brightness. Another cream blush is the Glossier Cloud Paint in Haze. And let me show you what this looks like. This is Cloud paints are super pigmented, so a little, good, a little bit goes a long way. But this is more of the bright pink I'm talking about. Kind of a strawberry almost. Beautiful as a lip color as well, but that's the cloud paint color. And then this one is a very unique shade. This is from M Cosmetics. This is lilac, so this is kind of a pinkish purple but kind of that same idea of that bright pink. There we go. So kind of a lilac bright pink, but still sort of in that pink family. Just wanna show you some options that are out there that are really perfect for spring and just really fun. Different way to add color to your cheeks besides the eyes. And depending on how your mask is, you can kind of pop out some pink right there. So I don't have any blush on right now. I um, just want to do some swatches first, but I will be applying some to my face. And then for the powders, I actually thought I had more bright pink blushes and powder formulation than I actually do. This is a new product. This is from Sicily, the Lafito Blush Number no. 2 Rosy Fuchsia. I'm actually going to put this on my cheeks today. It's a scary one for sure, and it is bright. To you a little bit goes a long way, but I think it's it's nice color. I'm a fan of it. A little bit scary, right? But it works. I think pink blush works. And then my last powder formula I have to share with you is Jill Stewart Baby Lilac. This is the blush bouquet, I believe it's called. And there are several different bouquets but this is baby lilac and there's a lot of pink, but kind of getting more into like more magenta and deeper pink and kind of a peachy coral. So you can really customize this one, but if you really want to stay pink, you can. There's also a white shade to lighten things up. So this is a really fun palette. I'll kind of just do a little bit of a swirl so you guys can see how bright you can go. So there's like a more traditional kind of baby pink. Very pretty. All right, and then I wanna apply a little bit of the Sicily one. Just a little pop. gonna use a different brush um, yeah we gotta blend this out so as I said a little bit goes a long way so I probably should have done a little bit less of a tap especially with my fair skin tone but I still love this color it's probably not meant for me but I still love pink and the story I wanted to tell is when I was in high school, getting ready with a bunch of girls, and one of the girls, who 
you know, loves makeup. She said, why are you using that bright pink blush? That doesn't, that's not going to look good on you. Very offensive, right? It was a NARS blush, and I believe the color was Desire. I'm not sure they make it anymore, but it's a hot, hot pink. And the reason I bought it is because I saw in a magazine, like, uh, Kelly Osborne, who has very pale skin, uses that blush. And I was like, okay, I'm going to get that color. I don't think it looked that bad on me, but hey, what do I know? <laughs> but yeah, it was kind of that fun story where, <laughs> not really fun for me, but you know, there is a lot of judgment about a bright pink blush and who it works for. Does it work for anyone? I think it can. I think you can make it work. I had to do a lot of blending there, but um, you know, you can mix in other colors too. I think it can be a really flattering shade. So I just wanted to get that out there that pink is a good color for blush. This video kind of also encouraged me to look through my eyeshadow collection to look for anything that could be used as a blush. And I think the pink shades I found um, are either too shiny or they're just too bright. So one of them I found is the Sydney Grace Forbidden Love. And this is like a really like magenta e shade has a lot of satin qualities to it. Obviously really, really, really bright for a blush. There's a pink shade in the Pat McGrath Divine Rose 2 palette, the Mothership. This one here, that is a little bit on the warmer side. Right? Very bright. And then I looked at the BH Cosmetics Sweet Shop Cotton Candy palette. And there are some pinks in here, pinkish. This is really coral pink. It's nice and bright. This is Carnival, by the way. You can see how bright it is. All right, so those are fun. I mean, if you feel like you can wear these on your eyes, I feel like you can wear the pink family on your cheeks as well. So don't be afraid. I just wanted to inspire you all for spring to get into pinks again. Um, think about those colors because I enjoy them a lot. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Nice and quick one today. Um, let me know your favorite pink blushes below. If you have any questions, let me know. If you like this video, click the thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.